Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Today we're going to start a new Let's Play Farm Sim 22 on a new map called New Lands. At least a new map to me. I think this map's been out for a while. But uh, man, it's pretty cool. I think it's just uh, like a one times map. It's not huge. But let's jump in and get started. We'll just uh, go with the defaults here. I do need to change some settings. So let's get on it right from the start. Uh, colorblind mode on, yes, please. This is what I'm interested in. Auto save interval, fine. Time scale, let's go like two times. Economic difficulty, let's go normal. Traffic, sure. Seasonal growth, no thanks. Um, days per month. Let's try two days. Uh, nope. Snow, sure. Crop destruction, nope. Periodic plowing, sure. Fieldstone, nope. Lime is fine, weed's fine, dirt normal. Automatic engine starts, I think that's fine. Uh, stopping or braking. We're gonna have to change this automatic engine start as we play, I think, we'll see. Buy all the materials, and this is some extra stuff from the revamp mod. Maintenance and maintenance cost and painting cost. This is a mod, I'm gonna turn down the paint cost. I wish I could just disable the paint wear, but I don't can't seem to find a mod for that. We'll leave the maintenance cost fine and the interval fine. Uh, and we set what economic difficulty we said was normal. That should get us going. Let's jump in. Or I should probably save this real quick. All right, let's jump in. This map, this map, this map is pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look. We're gonna start with just one plot one little plot or one little farm plot if we look at the whole map there are there's and i click on let's see the farmland boom it shows all the little plots of land you can see there's not many fields in fact there's only one and it's field 15 here or land plot 15 if i turn off or go back to map overview it's field two now there's a bunch of other numbered fields here, 13, 18, 14, 27, all these numbers of fields. But this is basically just grass that's growing along this highway that kind of runs through this area. Boom. And we have contracts that we can do, which are mostly gonna be uh, cutting grass. Mow the grass in field three, dry it and bale it. Mow the grass in 14, wrap it to make silage bales. We may do a few of these contracts, we'll see. We're gonna need to raise some cash. Um, but back to the map, we own this area here. Like there's, yeah, we'll see this in a second. We own a few of these plots out in these little tiny little settlement areas. Nothing up here and we own a bunch up this way. These areas, up here that we own are actually people's homes and we have businesses or production lines set up to actually collect their trash and their waste uh, so we'll see that in a second and then we'll drop that waste off i think i think it might be up here this area of the map that we own let's uh go back to here yeah there's a place here to crush rocks we have it turned off, Fieldstone's turned off. There's a place to drop off the waste that we pick up from the homes and also in other areas in the map. We'll see that in a minute, what I'm talking about. And yeah, there's like a recycling center up here. All right, let's go check out our equipment. Looks like we're in town. There's our vehicle dealer. Uh, we'll be driving all through the town in a little bit. So we'll explore that a little bit later. Let's get to our equipment. I'm gonna open up the garages here. Or close them. I want this guy open too. So here's our little property. We've got kind of a slab here, a couple, one closed shed, one open shed. We've got a roller, a little tipper. Uh, we've got a kind of a tree harvesting piece of equipment there. One spreader. 
Uh, we've got a cedar with an extra tank, it looks like here, for seeds. A forestry mulcher. Tractor, obviously. And one combine. And a wait for our tractor. I think that's just about everything we get. There's no... We don't have a truck or anything. You may want to think about getting one of those. Um, and we've got 100000 in the bank. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the used vehicle market. Let's do that first so we don't miss out on any deals. What do we have here? We've got a manure spreader. Not urgent. Silage compactor. Uh, not urgent either. Bale loader eases the collection of bales. Um, take a look at that thing. I have not used this. I'm not sure what this do does. I'm guessing it stacks bales up. Not super skilled on bales. Um, then we got a baler here that turns loose straw grass or hay into convenient bales. We're going to be doing bailing, but man, 84,000 of our hundred grand. It is half off. Oh man. Can we afford something like that just yet? Or would we want to buy like a forge wagon to get by early on? Let's take a look at the forge wagon, see how much those cost. Where are you forge wagons? Why am I not seeing you pop up? Forge harvesters, auger wagons, trailers. There they are, forge wagons. Yeah, I think maybe forge wagons are the way to go. Initially, instead of bailing, this is going to be a lot cheaper solution for us. But I don't see yeah, nothing urgent here. I would pick up this baler if we had more cash. Um, and we don't need a manure spreader just yet. We don't have any animals. So nothing to grab on the used vehicle market. Let's take a look at our field and just see what the status of that thing is on the map. Down here, field two. What do we have? Nothing planted, it looks like. And what's the status of this thing? It's cultivated. It's cultivated <clears throat> and... <clears throat> what else? Needs a lime. Needs plowing, but it's already cultivated. We don't have a plow. Needs lime. Should we buy a small little plow? I think maybe we should. Just wondering. I don't think we need to plow the wheat. If we do wheat, we may not need to do the plowing, although that would keep us from having to mess with the weeds, right? Let's do some plowing. Let's go buy a plow over at the dealer. Something, we don't need something huge. Plow. That guy's three and a half meters, two and a half. This might be a reasonable compromise. We're probably going to go into debt. Um, what is that? 7,000 more, $7,500 more. I think that's worth it. Let's, let's buy this guy. Standard. Oh yeah. There's one here. Extra 8,000. No, let's just do the standard. Let's get that bought. Boom. And then another thing that might do, that might do. All right, let's go get that plow and get started on our one little field. Kind of get some of that work done. We'll plow it and then we'll try and get it limed. I think we have um, our spreader here, I believe is full of lime. We can walk up to it and it should show us, right? Yeah, we've got 9,000 liters of lime to start with. That will be good. Let's head over to the dealer. I'm going to bring up the map so I can see where I'm going. We need to head up. I need to head up this way. 
There's something I do want to show you, though, before we go there. Now, this map, I don't believe it has collectibles. However, it has this stuff. <laughs> this stuff right here. There are piles of debris scattered across the map. They're along the highway, they're next to buildings, they're inside old buildings. And what we can do with these, if you look close, they all have a little recycle symbol on them. So every item that we can actually recycle, there's probably one on here too. Yeah, there it is on the side, right in the middle. Um, we can collect this trash, take it over to the recycling center, and get a little bit of cash for it. Um... So that's not a bad way to earn a little money. Plus, we want to do it just to clear this junk up, right? We have some right and bordering on our land, so we'll probably get to that soon. But let's get our tractor going on plowing first. Again, I'm going to bring up the map. We need to head to the top left of the map. Again, it's only like a one-times map. But it's not huge. Um, I'm going to cut through the wilderness here. And in this playthrough, we need to kind of clear land <laughs> in order to make room for some fields and things. So we'll do a whole mess of different things on this map, but we're going to take our time. Just take it easy. Enjoy the map. It's I think it's pretty cool looking. And stay on the road. There is actually traffic on these little tiny roads. Take a left here. Look at the scenery, man. This is just something else. Bunch of trees we can clear. We're going to do them kind of slow style, I think, for this playthrough. In uh, my other playthrough on Angel Mountain, we're using a tree har you know, an automatic tree harvester. Now uh, this time, we're probably just going to use the chainsaw, and like I said, take our time. This will be a smaller scale uh, playthrough. It's a smaller map. It's a lot easier to get around on the map. We may still get ourselves a pickup truck, um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure even how many, uh, how often I'm going to use helpers for this playthrough. I'm going to take it kind of easy. All right, we're coming through town. These, all of this land, I'm just going to pull off the side for a second here. This is all land that we actually own. And we kind of do business with these folks. These are actually production lines for us. And if I get near a trigger here, we can see this is Alexis Jacquet and uh, her house. We have a service agreement to pick up their slurry their trash bags, and their food waste. And currently there's three liters of people living here, so I'm guessing that's three people. And they've generated one liter of slurry. We can look in the production lines and see this person, their house, the business we own. There it is, the top one. So they have three production lines. They're all turned on. I suppose we could deactivate them if we didn't want to do this or for some other reason. We just wanted to not bother with this. But we can see there's three people living there. They're generating some slurry, they're going to generate some trash, and they're going to generate some food waste. We'll come in here and spawn those items, and then go get them um, recycled and raise a little cash. Doing that kind of work as part of our playthrough. Pretty cool, pretty innovative, I like it. First we're going to head over to the dealer. We've got one tiny field to deal with so far. Let's try and make that thing productive by getting it plowed. Bunch of sale points in here. Grocery on the right. There's a huge like farmer's market here on the left. That's pretty cool. We'll be exploring that. Um, we can't get big tippers in there, I don't believe. Um, so it's going to be a little smaller scale, smaller trailers, all that kind of stuff. In fact, I don't think we'll even buy a semi truck. The map's small enough where we probably don't need it. Um, this business and a couple of the others, I think, have gates. The Clever Motors does close at night, so we won't be able to get in in the middle of the night. We're 
have our plow here and head back out. Suppose I should have my beacons on. Crosswalk, the people go away at night as well. It's kind of cool in town. We've got a train we can rent. The map's pretty small. Don't know if we'll make use of the train or not. And I played this map for about, I'd say, an hour before starting this playthrough. So I'm not super familiar. So I may drive in circles a couple times if I get lost. Not a huge map. But like any map, it's a little tricky when you first get started. But man, the scenery just looks awesome. Really, really like this. We're going to kind of forge our own way in this playthrough. We'll see what we can get ourselves up to. Like I said, there's a variety of tasks. We can collect the waste products from our um, villagers. We need to obviously do some of our own terraforming, create our own fields, maybe get into livestock. I know I've got a viewer who's interested in horses. Maybe we'll do that this playthrough as well. Make sure I don't drive past my road here. We gotta take a right. I should have checked while we were at the dealer if I could um, upgrade the engine on this uh, tractor. All right, I think we're down this way. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, we're going to mow down some of the scrub. We're going to take away some of the rustic beauty as we kind of terraform the land and make it productive. It's a little bit of a bummer because it just looks awesome the way it is. But we're here to carve out a living for ourselves. Let's get to plowing. It's been a while since I've done a lot of these tasks by hand. Let's get on it.
All right, that's our plowing. Not perfect, but not bad. I think all of our little parking spaces are pretty full. We could cram this in next to something. Let's just put it uh, outside. Outside of the sheds for now. Now, I think next up is lime, so let's put some lime down. There's our lime. Next up is fertilizer. Let's see. I think I can just unload this thing. Control I. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the vehicle dealer and get some fertilizer. We'll have to use this same spreader. Eventually, I'd like to get another spreader, but we're going to try and uh, pinch our pennies. Not spend too much money um, until we're actually bringing in some cash. That won't be too long from now. Take a look at the map. Head back into town. I will meet you there. Let's get some fertilizer. Curious if we can upgrade this spreader too. Where is the upgrade trigger? Let's do that first, actually. Not sure how much it costs. Not sure if I want to spend the money this early on, but I'm going to just check. Let's take a look. Customize. Extension, 1300 that's not a bad idea, right? That may save us some trips. That's not a whole lot of cash. And then the spreading system, oh man, that one's 8,000. Um, let's hold off on the spreading system. I could use that $8,000 for something else, but the extension, I don't mind. Uh, let's do that upgrade for now. Boom. 
And then let's uh, buy some fertilizer and load this thing up. Let's see how much does it actually hold now. 14,000 liters. Uh, yep, yep, yep. We'll take it. 14,000. Hmm. That liquid fertilizer in bags. That's kind of strange. Okay, solid fertilizer. 750 liters. Oh, man. Um, $1,400. Let's do... Oh, I think we're going to just have to go big. Um, uh, let's see here again. What was our capacity? 14,000. Fourteen thousand. Let's get some. Oh man, eighteen thousand dollars in fertilizer. Let's get. Uh, oh man, I can't decide. How about let's start with six bags. Yep, yep. Just to conserve a little cash early on here. Boom. We won't make use of the full extension. Whoops. Am I not attached? There we go. It's on the upgrade. They must have detached me from my tractor. So this will be a start. We're obviously going to be buying more fertilizer, but we only have one field right now. Several thousand dollars worth. Let's head back. All right, this may be a little hard to see where we left off, but maybe we can just follow. Maybe we can just follow our tire tracks from last time. That might be an idea. Although it looks like it's. Oh, there we go. Not bad. No, we're gonna be able to tell just fine. In fact, this throws a lot further. We'll have to do the next, next uh, row or the next pass quite a bit further over. There's a couple spots we missed. Don't know if it's actually worth the liters of fertilizer just to touch up those last little spots, but we'll hit a couple on the way back. Doesn't need to be absolutely, absolutely perfect. Boom. We are plowed. We are limed. We have our first application of fertilizer down. I think we're going to pack this guy up and we'll call it an episode here. We're off to a decent start. We've got a lot to do. i got to practice my backing up too. I haven't had to do this in my other series much because I don't have trailer or sheds yet. Boom. Yeah, next episode, we'll need to plant or seed this field. We'll probably go with wheat to start with. That way we can get some straw. And then we will, we do have a roller, so we'll get to doing some rolling. Uh, the other equipment we have in here that we might make use of next episode. Cedar for sure. Forestry mulcher, I'm not sure yet. This guy, maybe we start looking to tear down some trees. Now, I don't know that we even own land that has trees on it yet. I think our little plot of land is pretty tightly focused right around the field. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's pretty snug. So maybe that one little tree on the corner we could get down. 
Um, but we'll look at maybe buying some land and thinking about plowing ourselves another field uh, until we run out of cash, basically. Uh, and then we have junk and stuff to pick up that we can maybe try and make use of this trailer to haul that junk in, take it over to the recycling center. That would be kind of cool. But I think, yeah, I think next episode, we're mostly going to focus on just getting this field um, planted and rolled and maybe even a second application of fertilizer after we, uh, after we seed it. I think we might be able to do that. We'll see. We'll double check it. But yeah, that's it for now. This is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, please do hit that like button. That helps me know you want to see this uh, playthrough continue on this new lands map. Man, does it look good. It looks so, so good. And like I said, we're going to take our time. We'll terraform some of the land. Uh, we'll try to keep it looking fairly rustic for most of the map. But all this brush will probably mow down at some point. We're going to need to buy a mower. Lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. That's it for now. I will see you all in the next episode.